Oh, that's wild. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> I could control both of them. You can control Billy with the right stick. I did not know that, and I've played this game before. That's fun. Fun times. Um, friends, denizens of the internet, hello, welcome back to another exciting episode of The Stores Now Unlocked of Resident Evil Zero over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Diva. We are jumping back into the shoes of Rebecca and Billy as we ride the train of doom. I don't I don't know where we're riding it to, but it's not good. I can guarantee it. Whoa, hey, it's zombies. Die, zombie. <laughs> no wonder we couldn't open that. There was a zombie in there. Take the empty bottle. I'm gonna go no. That seems like a stupid thing to pick up right now. Where do we need to go? So, change the floor with L? Okay. So we could go upstairs here, but it looks like we've been thoroughly upstairs. Yeah, we don't need to go upstairs over here. It does look like we have to go upstairs on that other section, though, which is probably what we needed that hook shot for. Okay. Oh, that's what the red dot is. Okay. Yeah, I, I reckon we're just making our way back towards the front of the car to the the second passenger car where the little window is that there was a ladder we couldn't get up before. Now we have a hook shot, which is a totally normal train thing to have. Oh, hi, it's zombies. Billy, Billy. You all right, Billy? You don't. You're not looking so good. Oh yeah, we're both in the caution. That's that's unfortunate. Um, here, Billy, give me the gas can, which I'm still not really sure what we need it for. And then you can go ahead and use that first aid spray. How about that, buddy? How about that, buddy? Yeah, now you're fine. Good times. What's the lighter for? Lighter appears to be out of fuel. It's useless right now. Well, that's great. It's not It's not a Zippo unless you're carrying it around with no fuel. Which is basically how they always work. I had a, I had a really nice Zippo that I never used, and I eventually got some flints and fuel for it. And, like, the, the fuel ran out in, like, two days. Like, just dried out, and I was like, well, never using this again. Um, should we just go right up there, I guess? No, you know what? Let's go upstairs and get the shotgun. How about that? That sounds like a good idea. Oh, this is not the right upstairs for that. That's right. Wait, what was the right upstairs for them? Heck, I don't know. Oh, this means Billy's gonna have to go outside. Mmm. Probably not a great idea, but... Hmm. Yeah, I guess... Give me the gas. I'll give you... Hook shot. And hopefully you run into the problems and not Billy. Or hopefully Billy runs into the problems, not you. Right? Right. Wait, yeah. Fire that bad boy. Totally how you, uh, how the train service will, like, say to get up to a train car. Yeah, just use the hook shot. You know, the hook shot. Every train's got one of them. It looks like there's a passenger cabin below the crack. Jump down through the crack. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure there's nothing else up here. Yeah, this looks like it is. Okay. Yeah, let's go down. Oh, hi, zombie. Ah! 
Get off me. Why are you standing back up? That's cheating. Ooh, what's in there? You cannot carry this item now. Well, good, cool. Um, let's let's drop this because I don't think we're gonna be needing that anytime soon. Nope, stop running in circles. Uh, knife? Yeah, we don't really need that right now either. Jewelry box, and that probably has the other thing we need for the briefcase, I'd imagine. Looks like a case for holding jewelry. Open? Yes. There it is. A finely crafted silver ring. Good, good. This will take the... N oh, it's a picture of a mother holding a baby. I was trying to pick up the knife, but that works too. Take the knife. Stained with someone's blood. Perhaps one of the passengers? Maybe the zombie we just shot in the face. Like the implications of that like it all <laughs> such... Ooh, that was a chunky door oh I got stuff all over me why that's bad hey hold on what the heck's in this other room Yeah, get off me! You're killing me! You're killing me! Yeah, you're, kill you're literally killing me! Panic button pressing. Go, go, panic buttons. This may not have been a smart idea to come in here. Oh, it's just the briefcase. Uh... Alright, I guess... I'll deal with that right now. Yep, 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 come on. Yep, there we go. Let's slap both of these in there. Briefcase has been unlocked. Open? Yes. Survey says. Ooh, there's something inside. You took the blue key card. Jimmy Lewis Express Station. Okay. This key card is used to unlock the electronic door to the car. Oh, cool. I wonder if it's also for the, the brakes. Now we're still full here. Uh, no, we got a slot, okay. So not enough to pick up the shotgun, unfortunately. No, actually, Let's leave the knife. I know the knife can be a very handy tool in the Resident Evil universe, but how about we just leave it for now? Because the shotgun's right here. Or at least it should be. Yeah, there she is. There's old Bessie. And as a rule, because we're in the, the deep orange, we're going to immediately equip that and reload it. And then I guess now that we got that card, we can go reconnoiter with Billy, right? There's nothing else super important up here. Well, we're leaving behind a knife, but I'm not I'm not super concerned about that. Climb down the ladder, yes. Oh, and this will put us right near the conductor's office where we can pop off a save. I wish I was able to have Billy just work his way over to us at this point instead of having to walk all the way back to like join up with him. 
there, like I said, there are, there are a few a few things about this game that I do not enjoy. Like, the game overall is pretty sweet, but some things, just like, why you had to actively make this design decision? Why did, why did you do this? Some things just baffle the mind. No, that's, that's literally the thing I just dropped. And I can't, I can't, oh, you're killing me. You are killing me with this game. Oh, come on. There we go. Is it the right thing? Yeah, that's it. That's the spice. Type it up on the old tape writer. Today, I almost died and killed a giant scorpion beast. The end. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go ahead and drop these again. I'll spam the button for the key card. There it is, hiding down there. It's like the game intentionally put them on the camera split too. It's like why why would you do that? Just confusing decisions in this game. He said, but by the same token though, it is the first time that Resident Evil tried something new, and it was met with applause rather than boos. They kept trying to make the... the first-person games way before technology was ready for the hat. This way! Oh, hey, it's zombies! Uh, wait, we're going the wrong way, Billy. Billy, can you... Okay, quick, Billy, quick. Like, like Bunny. Billy, you're making me waste shock, shotgun rounds. This is not how this is supposed to go. Okay, come on, let's move on. Billy, you're not hiding any health items, are you? No, you are not. Oh yeah, Billy also won't automatically reload his gun. Just super annoying. It's fine though. Because we're going to the front of the train, yeah! Oh wait, we uh... The, the eggs upstairs went away. Does that mean there's another area we need to look at or no? No, okay. There's a card reader here. It looks like the door will open if you have the right card. Yeah, I, I do. Resident Evil, why did you take away the simple convenience of, oh, you have the card, just use it? Like, when did that go away? The door is now unlocked. You won't be needing this card anymore. Throw it away? Yes, please. Delta team, this is Delta team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, let's go out there to interact with whatever that was. That seems like a good idea. The train is quickly picking up speed. Well, that's probably not good. I'm saying nothing about the corpses or what, it, what is this? The engine chamber is badly damaged. There's no way to fix it. Oh, great. I'm glad there's no way to fix it. <laughs> The 
train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. To look forward pensively. <laughs> brake operation manual. Using the brake control. The following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step one, activating the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. First car driver's compartment. Reach deck of the fifth car to activate the system. You must insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. Rear deck of the fifth car. Oh, that's the one all the way in the back we already saw already. This will supply power to both sets of controls. Step two, enter the rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, driver's compartment code can be entered. Step three, enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of the three steps, the manual brakes can be used. Okay. Who will stay behind? Um. Hmm. Well, Billy's almost out of bullets, so Billy's gonna stay behind. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca! Huh? Don't screw up, okay? I won't. I'm just gonna... I was gonna say, we're we gonna ignore the key card there? What the heck? Lock card, brake system, yes, we're gonna need that. We're definitely gonna need that. I really wish there was a first aid spray in here, but there is not. Well, there's more bullets on the floor there, I can see it. Don't you hide the bullets from me. Okay, let's try not to die. Woohoo! Happy birthday! Pretty sure that's not how I was supposed to do that. <laughs> that wasn't the Leap Pro version of that move, unfortunately. Yeah, one more shell. Uh-oh, I was gonna say our buddy's gone. Crap. Go, 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 go! Uh... I was going to say, maybe I could have saved it there, but... Ah, that seems... With the way it is picking up the items, that's that's not a good idea. Crap, crap, crap. Why are there, like, five zombies in here? Oh, oh, we're back at... That was that was close. Oh. Nope, back up, back up. This is getting dicey. No. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Go for it, Rebecca. You're you're running out of time and life, apparently. I hope there's nothing else on the way to this back car. We are dead. time for this, Edward. I'm sorry. You know what we do have time for? Reloading. We always got time for reloading. And the intense music fades away. Shut the door after you. No problem. Uh, 
Yes, one more door. Come on. And out into the blistering whirlwind. There we go. You can use this to operate the brake. Uh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Nailed it. I have engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. Oh, uh oh. Uh. Nine times nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. No, it's got a. Okay. That's not it. Three, six, nine, ten. So we need that's not it either. Okay, let's go eight, sixteen, twenty four, three, two, forty, forty eight, fifty six. Now put it to 65. 65 would be 74. Be 6, 7. And then we died. Rebecca? Rebecca? I'm here. Are you alright? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. Oh yeah, we should probably we should probably get away from all this, yeah. Yeah, flame flaming zombies is bad, okay. But as you as you noticed, all the items we left on the train are sitting right there. So if we ever need any of that stuff for any reason, it's still around. And again, Billy, you're you're just not doing so great, are you? Man, neither nobody's doing really great at all here. Let's let's send Billy first. this say here danger authorized personnel only I guess we are not authorized makes sense Billy's a prisoner and Rebecca has never been here before so <laughs> let's climb up the ladder mmm some beefy handrails there <sighs> The Umbrella Research Center? <gasps> the first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm. What about the mail? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> Who are you? 
It was I who scattered the T-Virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge. On Umbrella. ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> ah, yes, the edgiest of edgelords. <laughs> That's all I remember is that was a, that guy was an edgelord before edgelords were a thing. Alright, but as usual, we just cleared a big old chunk of this game, so that's going to be it for this episode today. Tune in next week when we uh, start exploring this new, not the first mansion, but a totally different mansion. That being said, I'm Devo and Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.